Doggy Bone Blues. This is a character-building story about honesty. And one thing we learn about honesty is it's being trustworthy and truthful. One warm summer day, Smuggles was lazily sorting through his bone collection when he looked up and saw something down the road. It was coming straight towards him. Oh, no, a puppy, and a very lively one at that. Upon reaching Smuggles, the puppy tripped over his little floppy ears and did a giant somersault. He landed flat on his back in the soft grass with all four feet sticking straight up in the air. Smuggles tried not to laugh, but he thought it was so funny. Here, let me help you up. On his feet once again, the puppy shook himself. Wow, look at all these bones. My name's Tunder. What's yours? I'm Smuggles. That was the beginning. Soon they were the best of friends. And much to Smuggles' surprise, he found that he enjoyed having the energetic little puppy come around. Day after day, they raced and romped in the meadow. From dawn to dusk, they chased butterflies, splashed in the cool little creek, and played tug-of-war with sticks. They had a lot of fun. In the early part of each afternoon, Tunder would have to go home and take a nap. But that was okay with Smuggles. Tunder was only a puppy, and Smuggles knew little puppies needed extra rest. While Tunder was napping, Smuggles would explore the meadow for new things they could do when his little friend came back. And after nap time, Tunder was more than ready to play. By the end of the day, both dogs returned home quite exhausted. The summer days passed by, and everything seemed to be going nicely. Well, almost everything. There was just one problem. Smuggles began to notice something strange. Every evening when he came home from playing with Tunder, he'd find a bone was missing from his collection. The bone pile was getting smaller and smaller. One afternoon, Tunder and Smuggles were out in the meadow playing when the little puppy ran up to his big friend. I have to go home now, Smuggles. It's time for my nap. I'll be back later. Okay, said Smuggles as the little puppy romped off. Smuggles played a while longer but then decided he would also go home. The disappearing bone problem was really bothering him. When Smuggles arrived near his house, he was very surprised by what he saw. Tunder was sneaking into his yard and over to his private bone collection. Smuggles moved behind a tree so Tunder couldn't see him. He watched as the little puppy picked up the biggest, juiciest bone of the bunch and then sneaked off. Smuggles followed Tunder down the road and watched him bury the bone near his doghouse. Then the little dog proudly trotted off to his puppy basket and plopped down for a nap on his brand new blanket. So that's where my bones have been going, Smuggles thought. I can't believe Tunder has been taking them. He wondered if Tunder knew it was wrong to take things that didn't belong to him. Sadly, Smuggles went back home and spent most of the night trying to figure out how to talk to Tunder about the missing bones. The next morning, Tunder came over ready to play as usual. Let's go, Smuggles! Smuggles just looked down at his dog dish. Come on, Smuggles, let's go chase butterflies. No, I... I really don't feel like it today, Tunder. Well, okay. Tunder couldn't figure out why his friend didn't want to play with him. So he decided to go home and chew on one of his new bones. When Tunder got there, he was met by a big, mean, awful-looking dog named Buster, and he was standing over Tunder's puppy basket. Hello, said Tunder brightly. I'm Tunder. What's your name? This your blanket, kid? asked Buster. Well, yes, said Tunder. Sure's a nice one. I want it. And with that, Buster grabbed Tunder's beautiful new blanket and walked off. Wait, Tunder yelled. Wait, stop. That's mine. But it didn't do any good. Buster was gone. Tunder couldn't believe it. He started to cry. That mean old dog just took my new blanket. What am I gonna do? Tunder was still crying when Smuggles came walking by. Smuggles rushed over to Tunder. 
What's the matter, little guy? Tundra explained that Buster had taken his new blanket. I just can't believe that mean old dog would just take something that didn't belong to him. Smuggles was going to say something about his bones, but decided now was not the time. Maybe I can help you get it back, he said. Do you think you can? We can sure try. And so off they went to find Buster. Smuggles knew that Buster was the kind of dog that always liked to pick on little guys. I know where we can find him, Smuggles said. He usually plays in the park. And sure enough, that's where they found him. Oh, Buster, said Smuggles. Buster was a big dog when he stood next to Tunder, but next to Smuggles, he wasn't very big at all. Say, say, Smuggles, what, what are you doing here, said Buster. Well, I have a very sad friend here, said Smuggles. He's missing his brand new blanket. Oh, look, Smuggles, said Buster nervously. I was just having a little fun, really. I didn't mean anything by it. You know, Buster, it's dishonest to take someone else's things. Listen to this. There's no need for fibbing. There's no need to lie. There's no need to make up any phony alibi. Cause if you start stretching the things that are true, the one you're really hurting honestly is you. Cause one fabrication will lead to number two. It's hard to tell a lie from what is really true. And if you're dishonest, you'll have quite a time of straightening out a crooked story somewhere down the line. Be honest in everything you say, in everything you do, each and every single day. Be honest, let everybody see how honestly honest you can be. Though sometimes it's scary to stand for what's true. Be really honest in everything you do. Remember, it's better to tell the truth straight. Cause honestly, honesty can make a person great. Be honest in everything you say. In everything you do, each and every single day. Be honest, let everybody see. How honestly honest you can be. And if you are honest, you'll find out someday that everyone respects you for what you do and say. And every single day Be honest Let everybody see How honestly honest you can be Oh, tell, tell the, the truth, truth Never lie, lie. Tell dishonesty goodbye If you do You will see Good things come through honesty Oh, oh Be, be honest In everything you say In everything you do Each and every single day you can be how honestly honest you can be be honest you're right smuggles said buster his head hanging down here thunder you can have your blanket back I i'm really sorry i've been dishonest it won't happen again i promise thanks buster said smuggles he and Tunder turned and began walking home. For a long time, Tunder didn't say anything. Finally, the little dog looked up at his big friend and softly said, Thank you for helping me. You're welcome, said Smuggles. Then they walked a little further. Smuggles, I think I know why you didn't want to play with me this morning. Really, Tunder? Yes, you were sad that somebody was taking your bones. Well, yes, that's right, said Smuggles. Um, well, that somebody was, um, <laughs> me, Thunder said. Smuggles watched a little tear run down Thunder's cheek. Um, I'm sorry, said the little dog. Now I see how dishonest I was when I took your bones. I'm, I'm sorry I made you feel bad, Smuggles. I promise I'll be honest from now on, and I'm, I'm going to return all your bones. 
Smuggles saw that he meant it. He smiled and said, Good for you, Thunder. Smuggles was glad to get his bones back, and he was glad to get his friend back, too. You want to go chase butterflies and play tug-of-war with sticks? he asked. Sure, laughed Thunder, and off they ran. Steve.